I'm trying to be nocturnal. So I washed all the dishes and did all of my meal prepping and went to sleep at 4 o'clock. And now I just wake up at 12 o'clock and it's raining so hard. And I forgot to put my smoking chair inside. Look at this. It's wet and it has dirt on it. So I had to make some calls. I needed to get my dentist to send me my x-rays because I have an appointment tomorrow because I have like 12 cavities. Um, infectious disease. They're giving me the runaround. I called and they said they put my referral in. Well, it wasn't actually in. So I had to call back to my doctor. Say, you guys didn't put it in properly. They said that they did. They redid it. I said that they did. I had to call back to the doctor. Infectious disease doctor. And they... So now I'm finishing up my duo and waiting for my laundry to finish so I can hop in the shower because the man that gave me brain damage who's a chain smoker, hot boxer of my home, is gonna make it all smell really bad and I don't want to breathe in that toxic air. So after I, that's done washing, I need to go wash my glasses, my face, put on my mask, put on my shower shoes, take my shower, come back, finish up my duo, I'm gonna eat a nice salad and i am going to do another load of laundry also while i was making all my calls and doing sorry the laundry and doing dough and stuff i was able to get down some ginger water that i made i just blended ginger and water and added half of a lime so i actually did have a proper alkaline start to my day which i don't normally do and i need to be on that but i just have so many cavities that i look i didn't want to risk putting acid on my teeth but i have a dentist tomorrow so it makes me feel a little bit better and then i got my clothes teeth done yeah, I'm a vegan. This man is cooking something so good right now, though. Like, it's like a cheese. It smells like a cheese McGriddle. Egg mc. Ugh, it smells really good. So, I'm gonna enjoy my salad. It's a vegan salad. It's way better than that shit, though. It has veggies, avocado. I don't know what it is. It is a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh my gosh, with butter. It smells really good. I get off of this cleanse and get these parasites out of me i'm having a grilled cheese fest i'm making alkaline grilled cheese sandwiches i'm gonna make so much grilled cheese i'm gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches with tomatoes in them like everything very much bothers me that the nigga that gave me brain damage do not understand that my body is not his it's not his to discuss it's not his to look at it's not his to touch it's not his to to do anything have anything to do it because it's a well it's not mine at the moment i'm working on getting it back but it's supposed to be mine and honestly if you don't get that like you don't do shit that's against god you don't ruin marriages you don't be a fucking pervert you don't be a fucking pedophile you don't be a fucking abuser etc etc if you don't get that shit you're gonna get shown why you don't do shit against God. And the, the thing is, is that something against God is going to happen to your ass and you're going to be sitting there having to pray. That's how bad it's going to be. And that's when you will realize you don't do shit against God. It ain't what you want to be doing. And I don't want to... I never wanted to get to that point. That's why I really tried to communicate and cry my fucking eyes out and pray. Let him stop. Let him stop. Let him stop. Please make him stop. Like, literally, all that. please make him stop. He, I'm not fucking with the shit. So after being so vivid, I was like, I need to smoke bath, and I don't want to. I was like, you know, instead of smoking, let me get to the bottom of what's my feeling. And it's that I need to identify what his mental illness is. So I started looking up, because he's a pervert, right? And so I looked up pervert, like, um, like, like the actual disease, like the mental illness. And I found narcissistic perverts. And bingo. That's what is happening here. So I'm trying to do some understanding of what is going on here. And it's really made me feel a lot better, and I don't need to smoke anymore. I'm also going to tell my mom because things such as like my mom not changing the bed for an entire year because he wants to fuck her and he won't stop screaming at her and like trying to for like I don't know doing stuff like that like so that way he won't want to and like her not taking care of herself like all the stuff that I witnessed when I first came back before I, I had her come stay in my room that stuff's not okay like that stuff's not normal and it turns out this is a whole mental illness i'm just finding out about that now i'm so mind blown right now okay my mom took into a laundromat so yay you guys know i had to get the papaya salad with no fish sauce do y'all see this shit that's a worm how the fuck am i supposed to get shit on my lip
I'm trying to show my Instagram this big ass worm that is in my lip. What am I supposed to do? Your food's gonna burn. I put diatomaceous earth on it. It moved. I don't know where it went though. I hope that the doctors that refuse to treat me when they experience having worms in your mouth and tongue and then having to chew and swallow your food with worms all over your stuff. You know, the same doctors that have now drawn out my cumin and mm -hmm. proper cumin for about five. Five weeks? No, it's been way longer than that because I've been, I've been, I've been begging them to I also hope that they get to experience just like the general feeling and discomfort of like worms crawling all around your face on the inside and outside. I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'm waiting for my Uber.